Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. If I'm not mistaken, we have to go back to Station Square to continue on this quest of awesomeness here. So let's go to Station Square, at least I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I keep going back to Station Square and I keep being wrong about that. All I have to do is touch that light bubble and I'll see what is going on and where I'm supposed to go. And I hope I'm right for once, for the love of God. Oh, come on! Dang you, Mystic Ruins. Dang you. You keep humiliating me, and so does this camera angle. Ah. So, we're back to the Mystic Ruins again. Where the heck am I supposed to go anyway? I completely forgot where I'm supposed to go in the Mystic Ruins. Where is the light bubble that I can talk to in the Mystic Ruins anyway? Uh, am I supposed to go? Is there something over? No, not over there yet. Um, maybe the door in this mountain is open. I was looking for something over near that waterfall area. Uh, I'll explain it to you later. Because um, the door over there opens up and, yeah, it opens up to a different area that I didn't really explain the first time I played with Sonic. And this door isn't open either. What the poop? Am I supposed to go to the Sky Chase Zone? Um, I guess we shall see. See, this is what I mean about that I know the stages really well, but I don't know the actual adventure portion of the game very well. Like, I don't know the, the order of events, so to speak, and uh, you can fly all the way up to those train tracks if you want to. Oh, there's Knuckles. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Uh, maybe it's up to Tails' workshop. I'm not sure. Oh, yep, there's a cutscene. Sonic, wait here for a second. All right, so I'm going... Uh-oh. We get the interior view, view this time. Go, palm trees, go! Oh, they're already down. Dang it, I missed seeing those mechanical palm trees flop over. Will I actually be doing Sky Chase Zone again? That would be kind of silly, don't you think? And you know, come to think of it, why didn't I think of going to the Sky Chase Zone? Because I because I remember at Sonic stage, the Sky Chase was right after the Egg Carrier was introduced. Ah, oh, I'm such a silly Billy. Oh. It is Sky Chase Act 1, dang it. Oh, uh, well I guess we're playing this again. Well, at least uh, it's nice and bright out, so the camera shouldn't have any trouble with this one. Uh, so yeah, we're catching up to the egg carrier. We already know how the scene's gonna play out. I'm gonna get shot out of the sky. Eggman's gonna laugh. I'm gonna die a little inside. Uh, why do we even have to go through this charade? Just, just shoot me down already so I can continue on this quest. So, uh, yeah, Sky Chase Act 1. There's barely any bullets out whatsoever, I must say. And, uh... Yeah, I'm moving around kind of erratically, trying to uh, get a lock on on those critters. If you don't see, like, there's little dots in the background flying there. I'm not even sure if it'll show up on camera. Uh, so, yeah, but you'll be able to see them if you play it on your game, unless your TV is, like, really, really small or something like that. By the way, if you uh, ride right there, you can get, like, the solar flare from the uh, sun over there. Ah, oh, bullets! Actually, they're more like bombs. I just took a hit there, and I just blew them all up, so that's pretty nice, too. I like to blow things up. That's just what us foxes do. We just like to fly in midair and we like to blow things up. Yeah. If you didn't notice, uh, foxes are always, always aerial creatures in Sonic games for some reason. I'll never understand that. I mean, even Tails has the gift of having two tails so that he can wind them up and fly through the air using them as helicopter blades. It's just amazing. I, 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 maybe maybe we'll one day see flying foxes out in the wild somewhere. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping for that, as, as that would be pretty awesome in my opinion. I mean, we could just see foxes flying over our houses and as we're driving down the road. And yeah, I don't, just on those little road trips, we'll see like two-tailed foxes flying overhead and we'll be like... Oh, oh, there's those, there's a pack of foxes that have moved into our neighborhood. Oh, what are you going to do? And, uh, yeah, you know when they have to say that expression when, uh, pigs fly? Well, I hope no one ever said when foxes fly, because then uh, they would definitely have to pay a lot of money there. 
And I just noticed that the camera has been kind of messing up with uh, some uh, dang... Uh, see that line that's on the screen or that flickering that's on the screen? Dang it. Uh, I'm going to adjust that real quick, kind of. Oh. Dang it. I'm just having bad luck with the camera right now. Oh, well. By the way, that, that right there is not a scan line. That is actually part of the, um, it's actually catching on to the fine grain on the TV, because watch this, I'm going to move the camera, oops, move the camera up and back, and it's actually going to move along with that, you know, it's, if it, if it was a scan line, it would stay static on the screen like that, and a little cutscene going on here, now the camera, oh no, wait, it didn't clear out, dang it, and I can't turn off the camera now, the cutscene's going, so I guess you're just going to have to deal with that delightful line, Oh, I'm gonna get more comments saying I should get a capture card all over again. Oh boy, what the heck was that? I seen some sort of blue blur. What the heck? Oh, it's, it's some sort of hedgehog shaped thing. By the way, why the heck is the camera making that line now of all places and of all times? It was working just fine a little while ago. What the poop? Oh, well, it's better than that moving scan line that was uh, on that Canon camera that I had before. So, uh, well, maybe this is dream. Maybe he's dreaming. I don't know. Um, he could be dreaming. I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Maybe he was. Uh, yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, he's KO'd right here in the Mystic Ruins. Oh, poopers. No. Tails wake up. Stop glowing, too. This camera is actually starting to annoy me in a way <laughs> because of that kind of stuff. But I owe so much to Sonic. It, it doesn't have scan lines, but it, it picks up the grain on the TV, and, it, and I don't want it to do that. And it does it randomly, even when I think I have it set right. It just seems to do it whenever the heck it wants to. So that's kind of disappointing in my opinion. But but that doesn't make any that doesn't make my walkthrough any less helpful though. So yeah. If I'm gonna get that egg carrier, I need to finish my prototype. Oh yeah, gotta finish that prototype. It needs a Chaos Emerald to work. Wait, where am I gonna find another Chaos Emerald? Looks like I better find one fast. Yep, must find that Chaos Emerald now. Okay, now that I'm back in control of Tails again, hold on just a sec while I readjust the dang camera. Okay, I kind of got it, I think. Hopefully there won't be any of that grainy line thing again. Anyway, now there's a minecart over here. Um, go inside this minecart, if I'm not mistaken, and just take a quick look over here. Um, you'll be able to see, see way over there, out in the background, that is the Lost, uh, Lost World. That was stage 9 that I played with Sonic. This was the area that I didn't really explain well with Sonic because of the fact that you didn't really have to go through this foresty area. This forest area right here is like a big freaking maze, and Tails is glowing like poop. Ah, I hate this camera sometimes. I hate uh, camera working, I should say working yeah, with the camera to begin with yeah, sometimes. Ah, poopers. Yep, yeah, there's a cat. Oh no! A frog! He grabbed it! No! Hey, wait up. Give me that! Why'd you grab that emerald? Anyway, now I gotta go inside here, and there's gonna be a very, uh, sandy wall over here. You gotta go up here and hit the switch like this and that will drain out the sand like that. And we're going to go to a brand new area exclusive to Tails! Yay! Whenever that thing, whenever that invisible wall drops there. This is Sand Hill, a sub game, but it feels like another snowboard level. So, uh, yeah, there's these gates, and uh, you get points for, wow, well, for how many gates you go in, but if you're too slow to get inside a gate, that combo counter at the upper right corner drops, and, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty fun little sub-game, especially since I like snowboarding and stuff like that. that woo! Well, snowboarding games. Uh, I, I don't know why they never continued the, uh, oh, shoot, the Snowboard Kids series. Uh, I, I really like the Snowboard Kids series for the Nintendo 64. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they made... Uh, was it a remake for the Nintendo DS? I'm, I'm unsure about that. Uh, 
I, I, I might be wrong about that, but uh, yeah, it might have been a whole new game or it might have been a remake, I don't know, but I, because I didn't know what it was, I didn't exactly get it. I should have at least got it to like, support the creators to show them that I would like I would like them to make more games. Well, anyway, <laughs> um, in inside that go that bubble there, you would see uh, there was a frog trapped in that bubble, just like any of those random animals that you see floating around there. And, uh, oh, what the heck is that thing? Oops. Why, why, oops, it obviously did that on purpose, and that's kind of rude of that light glowing thingy there. <sighs> and where the poop are we? I thought so too. What is this? It, it looks like it's the lost world, but that can't be. Anyway, up here, you're, we're looking for an upgrade. Um, up here, I think, is where the upgrade is. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, well, should I? I'm not sure if I if I can ex explore this game. I mean, explore this area. If I, after I collect that upgrade, so I could be... I, I don't think I want to collect that upgrade just yet. I'm just, just going to take you on a little tour around this area here. Uh, just for the fun of it. So, this is like one of the few times you can access this area. Uh, that's why I'm going to take you uh, through a tour of this. So, yeah. This area is like... Wait, who are you? Are you an echidna? Our chief has a pack of that man is fearless, brave bullet and you can never lose. Okay, now, I appear to be some in some sort of ancient civilization of echidnas. This is so very weird. Where am I? I don't know. Well actually I do, but I'm not gonna explain it just yet. There's some more echidnas down here. Uh, there's actually a bunch of echidnas you can talk to down here. Um, as you see, this is definitely the temple known as the Lost World. Um, during the Sonic story, if you played it before, this this is where the, you would enter it, uh, where the door is. Um, but there's a whole civilization here. There's people all over the place. You can talk to them if you want to. I'm not going to because they don't really give you anything. And, uh, you know, this is a walkthrough. It's meant to just show you stuff and uh, save you time in the long run. So, uh, yeah, get this thing right here. You'll be able to spin as many times as you want to just by holding the B button. You found the rhythm badge. To do continuous tail attacks, hold the action button down. Yay! Oh, I, I guess I'm supposed to be able to explore this area now. Maybe that door to the Lost Woods is now open, and look at all the echidnas! Holy poop! The servers are the seven chaos emeralds. Wait, you again! Hello there, friend. How are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I, I just got a little upgrade there. I got a little badge there. It's on my chest. It's pinned right into my flesh, which, which kind of hurts, but otherwise it gives me extra rhythm, and I kind of like that. It goes like this. The servers are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. Chaos actually sounds like something that's bad. But I'm still not sure what it all means. But the number seven is the same as the number of emeralds there are. Emeralds? Oh. Forgive me. What Connection. Have you never met before? No, we never did. Call. And you know? Well, at least Tails didn't. I'm Tails. Hey, wait! What the heck? White out. This is not snowy white out conditions. What the poop? And so we wake up, and then we're holding a frog. Ew! It's slimy and it's warty. Oh, poopers! Ugh. I hate this cat so much. I hate you. I hate you. I seriously do. He's like the worst character ever invented in the history of Sonic or any series ever. And I'll explain why when I get to his story later. Because unfortunately I have to play his story. Well anyway, 
I gotta get the, the Tornado 2 rare and to go, evidently, so, uh, yeah, let's go to the workshop. It is now all lit up and pretty at night, and I believe this is the first time we've seen the Mystic Ruins at nighttime, if I'm not mistaken.